Do you want to edit twice as fast? Well, inside this Lightroom tutorial, I'm going to show you how by learning the top 10 Lightroom keyboard shortcuts that are going to half the amount of time that you are spending editing your photos. You ready? Let's get into it. Lightroom keyboard shortcut number 10, copy and paste. It sounds simple, but it's a game changer when it comes to speeding up your workflow. So just hit command C if you're on a Mac, control C if you're on a PC, select all the options that you want to copy over and then head over to the photo you're replacing and voila, you've pasted your editing settings and saved yourself some time. Copy paste. Lightroom keyboard shortcut number nine, the backslash key or before and after. By hitting this key on your keyboard, you can really quickly toggle between whether your editing is making the photo better or or worse, super handy feature, so the backslash key number nine. Lightroom keyboard shortcut number eight, the O key. Now this is very important when it comes to actually seeing your masks and what you're doing because sometimes you're trying to paint on an effect but you can't really see what's going on. Hit the O key on your keyboard and you can instantly see a really easy visual of exactly where your effect is being applied. Now fun fact, you can actually change the color of this overlay to make it even easier to see and show up. So have a play, use the O key. Lightroom keyboard shortcut number seven, the command key, especially when you're using an adjustment brush. So normally when you're using an adjustment brush, if I wanted to select the sky, I'd probably turn on my auto mask here and that would do an okay job. And then when I want to shut it off, I have to remember to uncheck that box. Well, it turns out you don't have to do that at all. You can actually just make a mask, hold down command and your brush will toggle on auto mask just like that. And if you want to get rid of auto mask, no need to hit that box, just let go of command and now your brush is as per normal. So command key to do that. Fun fact, while we're going back to it, the alt option key, when you're using a brush, will also toggle to your eraser. So you don't have to switch back and forth between any of these brush settings. You can switch from your brush to your eraser holding alt and switch from auto mask to not auto mask holding command. Lightroom keyboard shortcut number six, the local adjustment shortcuts. Now this is three in one, so it's kind of cheating, but you're looking for the K key, the M key, which is right underneath it, so it's easy to remember, and then the shift M key. Now by doing that, you can make different adjustments in Lightroom to your local image. So by hitting K, you can access your brush and make different brush adjustments really quickly. No need to go up into this menu at all. By hitting M, you can make graduated filter adjustments. So let's say I wanna darken the sky down. Well, I can do that with a graduated filter. And by hitting Shift M, I can make a radial filter adjustment. So if I want to say soften the look of this couple, hold Alt to reset my settings, and then I can maybe bring the clarity down, the contrast down, and the exposure down just a little bit. So K key, M key, and shift M key going to save you a ton of time because you do not want to be going back and forth every time you want to make an adjustment. Select this little button, which one do you want to make? No, the K key, the M key, and the shift M key. That's Lightroom keyboard shortcut number six. Lightroom keyboard shortcut number five, the R key. It's a super simple one you're gonna use all the time because that crops your image really quickly and really easily. So every time you wanna crop an image, don't head over here into the panel and waste time. Valuable seconds, you just wanna hit the R key and you can really quickly and easily adjust. Now just to build on top of this, when you hit the R key, couple little bonuses. If you hit the O key, that will actually change this overlay to different formats. And by holding shift, you can make sure that your crop stays exactly the same in terms of its original dimensions. Okay, so little trick for you, the R key crop, you're gonna use it all the time inside of Lightroom. Lightroom keyboard shortcut number four, the plus and minus keys on your keyboard. Now you might not know this, but plus and minus will actually increase and decrease exposure. If you hold down the shift key on your keyboard, that will increase and decrease the increments of exposure that you're applying to your image. So it's the easiest way to adjust and dial in the exposure on your images by far. It's going to save you a ton of time. Now, fun fact, if you want to, you can hit the period key on your keyboard and that will actually change what the plus and minus keys do. So if for some reason you find that you're adjusting the clarity key, the clarity settings more than anything else on your images, well, you can assign that to your plus and minus keys and whatever you want to adjust, add that to the plus and minus and it will speed up your editing significantly. Lightroom keyboard shortcut number three, the undo and redo keys in Lightroom. You're gonna use this all the time because let's say you're editing a photo, life is great, it's going awesome, and then all of a sudden it starts getting worse instead of better. Well, you can go back really easily by hitting Command Z on your keyboard if you're on a Mac or Control Z if you're on a PC. And if you wanna go back a few steps and you're like, oh, actually I liked it better the other way, you hit Shift Command Z to redo those same exact steps. This can also be handy if for whatever reason the backslash key isn't working so well with your before and after. Just hit Command Z and Shift Command Z and that will undo or redo what you're doing. So that's Command Z on a Mac and Control Z on a PC. Okay. 
Hit room keyboard shortcut number two, the G and D keys. That switches between the grid view of the library and the develop module inside of Lightroom. So if you wanna just start editing, you hit the D key. If you want to head back and see which other photos you have in the set, navigate your way around. This is the best way to do it. The D key for develop and the G key for grid view inside of Lightroom. And finally, Lightroom keyboard shortcut number one, the Alt Option key inside Lightroom. Now by using this key, you unlock hidden features within Lightroom's develop module and all over the place. So we already talked about one, which is when you're using your brush inside of Lightroom, you can really quickly and easily hit the Alt key and that will toggle between the eraser and the normal brush. Perfect, but it goes even further. By holding down Alt, you notice you'll have extra access to things that were hidden before inside of Lightroom. So mainly you can reset any section inside of Lightroom just by holding down that Alt Option key really quickly and easily. You don't have to worry about resetting the entire image. You can just reset that panel. You don't have to reset one setting at a time. The other thing that it's super, super handy for is actually by going in here to our detail and looking at our noise reduction and sharpening settings by holding down the Alt Option. Yeah, we could reset those settings or by dragging up on these sliders, you're gonna notice new overlays as long as you're holding down that Alt Option key. So it can really help you dial in the exact right settings when it comes to your sharpening and your noise reduction, other effects like that. So play around with the Alt Option key because you'll be amazed at the extra features and handiness it adds to your editing inside of Lightroom. So that's it for my top 10 Lightroom shortcuts that I think you should learn to improve the speed of your editing. Which one is your favorite and which one is the one that you rely on the most? I can tell you that these are the Lightroom keyboard shortcuts I'm using 95% of the time. So if you learn these few, just 10, you're going to wind up speeding up your editing and learning pretty much everything you need to know in the world of Lightroom shortcuts. So leave your favorite and the one you use the most in the comments below. If there's one that I missed that you think is really essential, please add that in the comments as well. Let's get a conversation going. If you want more presets, Lightroom tutorials, all sorts of good, awesome stuff. Make sure to subscribe and you can hit the links in the description to check out some free stuff. All right, I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, create something awesome. Peace.